Hey boys and girls, I'm Rhino. Welcome to Le Chef Trasu. This is my friend, Houston. He is an awesome musician. He does not say his name Houston, but that's how I felt like saying it. <laughs> that confused me. <laughs> yes, it did. I was alarmed. <laughs> uh, we're making buffalo wings, kind of. Uh, he wanted buffalo wings, and mm -hmm. I was like, okay, well, first of all, I don't eat chicken. That's a little, that's problem one. Um, two, I've never made buffalo sauce. I suppose I could. I think it's like, what, ketchup and water and some Syracuse. But, I do make killer barbecue sauce. So, we are making barbecue sauce, and I'm doing mine with tofu and pineapple, and then he's gonna eat the tofu and pineapple with the chicken, because tofu and pineapple with barbecue sauce is stupid good. It's retarded good. <laughs> You're gonna have to censor that. <laughs> Let me just say that you should probably make extra sauce just in case whoever's eating it wants a little extra sauce. Mm -hmm. We're making two dishes, so this is enough for two dishes. But if you just have the one dish, you're good to go. You are going to need a half a cup of ketchup. Mm. I couldn't find unsweetened ketchup at the Ralphs. Shame on your Ralphs, I'm unhappy. Um, but- Should've gotten the Vons. I know, that's really far. That's like, oh, that's like miles, miles away. All right, here's my favorite thing. You need three quarters of a cup of sugar. Some yeah. people are like, oh, cane sugar. All sugar comes from a cane. Like, it, you can't have non-cane sugar. Yeah. Except for Splendor. Where do you get off, people who say that? Then you need half a cup of soy sauce. We're using tamari. It is a gluten-free soy sauce. Yay! Tastes the same, though. It's salty brown water. <laughs> when you describe it like that, nobody's ever gonna have soy sauce again. Mm. Ever. Soy uh, sauce. <laughs> then you're gonna eat a quarter cup of sherry. I hate sherry. I don't hate sherry. I'm sh Actually, I have a friend named Sherry. She's very nice. But the drinkable version that comes in the store and it's like cooking sherry is, it's just crappy sweet red wine. He's being nice because I drank all the sherry. Yeah. So we're using beer. I don't know where my beer is. I drank all of that too. We're using beer. We're using the gluten free red ale that I have from my other shows because it's delicious. I know he didn't drink all of it. I would never let that happen. It was good. People can't come and drink all my beer. I just be, no. Uh, mm -mm. And you're gonna need to mince up some ginger. Ginger, I like to mince because it, it, it's fresher. When you mince ginger, it just, it's, it's zen. I don't know how else to explain it. It just makes you feel calm, makes you feel happy, makes you feel good. If you put it too close to your nose, it hurts. I don't even feel that calm when I was mincing it. Maybe I'm too aggressive with my mincing. Maybe you just don't appreciate life. That could be possible. Which is why you're the one eating chicken. Hmm, awkward. <laughs> Zing! <laughs> Cockroach. Oh my god! <laughs> That's how you know you live in LA. One garlic clove, which is about half a teaspoon of minced garlic. I use pre-minced garlic because it's one-stop shopping. A teaspoon of salt. Simmer over low heat until it makes a nice sauce. When it starts to bubble a little, then it's pretty much done. It doesn't need to be a super thick glaze, but if you were to boil it, you can get it to be thicker and glazier, but you also run the risk of burning all of it indefinitely. I haven't used chicken in a very, very, very long time. I got him the full wing, so we had to cut it and then break bones, so he really got the feeling of being a carnivore. But luckily, somebody, my parents mainly, had just recently gotten me a utility knife. Mm -hmm. uh, I might not recover from the trauma, but it totally works. Uh, you just cut off the two awkward ends and you cook the middle end. Yeah, we'll show you how awkwardly he did it. I just like middle end. So then you're gonna broil the chicken mm -hmm. uh, for about 30 minutes. Rotate it every five to 10 minutes so you get each side cooked. The first 10 minutes, we're just gonna use olive oil, then we'll put all of the glaze on. Um, then the tofu and the pineapple, we're only gonna boil it about 10 minutes, maybe 15 at the most. It doesn't need a lot, it's just marinating. Mm -hmm. and when you make food, you're gonna need to place it on something. Baking dishes are great for that. Plates, uh, not hands, anything that's not part of your body that you can put food on, you're good to go. But I would like to point out that if you've watched uh, several of these episodes and you've seen guests on this show, you'd notice they're pretty close together. And yes, my left hand is completely inactive because if I were to do anything with it, it'd be foreplay. <laughs> Maybe that's why I do it this way. Yeah, then we're gonna serve it. I don't jump cut. You're I gonna, do inserts to the cooking. Oh, you're gonna jump cut. Which is you're bad. gonna jump cut now. Yay! Thanks for watching the Chef Pasu. Don't forget to subscribe. Check out Justin on his SoundCloud. I'll put the link below because he's an awesome composer and you should hire him and then hire me because you liked him so much. You remember how grateful you are to me. The music you were hearing? That's me.
I hope. <laughs> You'll have to send me some music then. You can put some music <laughs> in the background. <laughs> I'm just saying, it's really nice background music. He's gonna do it, trust me. Totally. Uh, tune in next time, guys. It's gonna be a surprise what we're gonna do because I haven't decided yet. Uh, but it's gonna be stellar and awesome. It feels a little close. It feels a little close. Well, it's your kitchen. Yay! Have a good one. Let me know what you want me to cook next in the show, and I can help you make your favorite recipe even easier. Leave it in the comments below, and I will get you back.